Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this video we will be discussing about a major question that is asked in the many of the JavaScript front-end development interviews that is map and for each. What is the major difference between that both? We will understand this in this video very clearly with best examples, okay, which you can use in your interviews to get the marks for which you can qualify the interview, okay. So let's start. So first of all, let me create an array, simple array which will consist some of the names like I will write my name. In the second one, I'll write another name. Third one, I'll write one more name. I have written three names. Okay. So what is difference between map and for each? If anyone asks, you can directly say that for each does not returns anything, but map returns an array. Both of them can be used for any kind of operation. When we need any kind of iteration in our code, we can use both of them. But when we need a return type and that return type need to be array, at that time we should use map. But for each we should use at the situation uh, where we only want the iteration, but does not need any kind of a return value. So to prove my statement, what I'll do, I'll first console it, console log. Then I'll write array dot for each and here I'll get the first argument as the element and then I'll get the index and then I'll get the array but only right now I need the first element. So what I'll do I'll just write console dot log of name. So for running it I'll write node and index dot js. I'm using node. So here see first of all it is printing Abhishek that is the first element then it is printing the second name and the third name means the inner console is working and at last we are printing the outer outer means what we are returning so it is not returning anything here that's why it is printing because we are only writing console.log but instead of writing this if i do write name like this let's see is it returning anything no but if i do instead of for each if i write map and then again run the file you can see it is returning the array right if i need to do any operation it will also return to lower case if i write see it will change everyone to the lower case even you can do any kind of operation and you can return it but if i will do for each it will not return the array okay it can only do the operation so to completely prove it you can store it in a variable let us assume the variable is answer and we can console it console dot log of answer the same thing we are doing previously also if i will write now print it it will print undefined okay but if i large map to it see now it will print the array so this is the thing you need to show to the inter when they are asking this kind of question to show the differences between map and for each you can show this example to get selected that's all for today guys if this video is interesting like this video subscribe the channel for this kind of interesting interview series and upcoming a lot of questions we will be doing let's meet in the next video